Hi, Mim here with a customer request demo for two different tenors. We're going to be comparing a Kala solid cedar top laminate acacia back and sides with the Ohana solid spruce top solid acacia back and sides. Both of them are tenors, both of them have a slotted headstock, and both of them are cutaways, and they both have comparable electronics with built in tuners. So, first, we'll start with the Kala. This is the Kala KA-ATP-CTG-CE. The CE is for the cutaway electric. As you can see, it has a solid cedar top. The rosette is Paduke, which is really pretty. It has a nice slotted headstock. Cutaway, which allows access to the upper frets. Paduke binding, laminate acacia back and side. So a benefit of a laminate is it does add stability and most of your tone comes from this cedar top here and cedar has a lot of tone. So it's one of the best tone woods to pair with a laminate because it does have such a bold tone on its own. And then it has a uh, built-in tuner there and preamp. Okay, so I'm going to play this one through for you. Call it ATP CTG CE. So this is the Ohana TK250GCE. G is for gloss, C is for cutaway, E is for electronics. It has got a solid spruce top. Really nice there. A slotted headstock. And then a solid acacia back and sides. And look at that back there. Really, really pretty. And it's got the built-in tuner and preamp right there so it's ready to plug and play. A benefit of an all solid instrument is the more you play it the more it'll open up and you do get that acacia tone out of the back and sides as well as that nice bright tone of the spruce top in the top. So I'll give this one a playthrough for you. Ohana TK250 GCE Okay, so I hope you heard a little bit of differences between these two ukuleles. Something that I heard is the Kala's a little bit warmer and then the Ohana is a little bit brighter, a little bit more punchy, which is typical of a spruce versus a cedar. They both are about have about the same volume. As far as build, the Kala is a little bit deeper. The Ohana has a little bit thinner body. They both have comparable pickups. And the Ohana has the bone nut and saddle, and the Kala has the synthetic tusk nut and saddle. So that's some of the differences and comparisons between the two. But no matter what, whichever one you choose, I do a complete setup on every ukulele I sell. So it will have ideal action at the nut, ideal action at the 12th fret for the ukulele that you purchase. I'll make sure that the frets are nice and level and that everything's in working order and I'll take care of you the best way that I can. If you have any questions, let me know. Email is always great. Mem at memsukes.com. You can call me at 540-505-5444 or you can message me on Facebook. You can message Mems Ukes or visit my website at www.memsukes.com. So let me know if you have any questions or if you need anything and stay tuned because I will play those two sound clips back to back for you so that you can 
hear them back to back and maybe pick up on any nuances that can help you with your ukulele purchase. So thank you so much. Bye. Kala, A-T-P-C-T-G-C-E. Ohana TK250 GCE.